good morning. We are in Japan. It is 6 a.m. and we are off for breakfast. We're at Denny's. Listen, don't don't judge. It's my fault. <laughs> it's his fault. <laughs> but Japanese Denny's is actually pretty good. They have a drink bar. I don't know if it's the same in the U.S. because we don't have them in Canada. So here you can basically select your breakfast. You can get scrambled. Did you already place your order, Pat? No. Oh, go for it. I think I'm a simple person. A simple person. So we're going scramble eggs. And we'll go with the rice, miso soup. Drink bar. Oh, that drink bar, of yeah. course. Yeah, unlimited and drink. Coffee. My turn. So I'm gonna Put go with plate. the scrambled egg. And I definitely want the grilled cheese sandwich. Drink bar, yes. And I think we're good. No yeah, so that's like 14, about $14.60, more or less. In USD, it's about that. Yeah, $10 for two people. <laughs> And unlimited drinks. All right, let's go. I want a cappuccino. Cafe I think it's this one. Latte. 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 A cafe latte. So I'll take a cafe latte. Yeah. And if you're not into coffees, they also have plenty of different kinds of teas. And if you don't want that, they have ice for iced coffee. And they even have different kinds of soft drinks and juices. And it's strawberry season in Japan, so they are promoting strawberry desserts. My goodness, this looks really good. Look at the fluffy pan. Look at this pancake. There. Big bit of butter. Good day, okay. Parfait. I don't know. I can't finish these by myself. I hope you'll put the strawberries. <laughs> okay, that's not fair though. <laughs> <laughs> so here is my breakfast. I have the scrambled eggs, bacon, sausage. It's way smaller than it looks, by the way. So here's my hand, just for scale. And Pat thought he was gonna get two eggs, but he got one egg. Yeah. How do you feel about that? No choice. <laughs> this Denny's, the one in Ikebukuro, is actually smaller portions of everything. The one we went to, where was it? In Ikebukuro, also, with this oh. one is next to the hotel. I think they okay. have some deals with the hotel. I don't know why I have milk? Yogurt? I think it's yogurt. Yeah, I think it's yogurt, but okay. Let's eat. Thank you, Ma. apple tea. <laughs> All right, let's take you for a walk. So you can hear the Japanese sounds, all the visuals. Look at all that. And then we went to a place called Tamago Ken. Now that is a chain place that serves omu rice, which is really popular comfort dish in Japan. So you have kind of a ketchupy rice center with a kind of sauce. So here you can see they have tomato and hash. And let's see Pat eat it. Oh. 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 Eat it. Looks very delicate. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Yeah, I'm excited. There you go. <laughs> so it was very nice. Mine was pretty much curry and it was mm -hmm. really, really good. Pat didn't take the curry, he didn't know. I took the demi glaze yeah. sauce. But you like the curry more? Yeah, the curry, for me, at least for me, for my prof my flavor profile, like, yeah. it was better. Yeah, you're more of a curry guy than yeah. I am, but it was really good. Mm -hmm. By the way, these rocks have like quilts on them. The whole park has quilts on rocks. It's really colorful, really pretty. I guess that's a really good way to kind of make winter look less gray. <laughs> Even the owl has a quilt on it. I'm not sure what these are, but they kind of look like Pac-Man ghosts. Ish. I don't know. They're cute though. <laughs> it's a good way to make sure that your trees don't look dead. For all my weebs here, we have Animate. This is like six or seven floors of just anime merchandise. Even if you know anime, I bet you there's gonna be stuff you've never heard of before. Starting off strong here with the entrance, we have some gacha. Yeah, I don't know if it's a keychain or if it's an actual like snow globe, but that's absolutely adorable. It's a snow globe. I don't know, it looks flat have, like, to me though. Huh? They don't have to know. Exactly. <laughs> Look at these blind boxes. Oh my god, and there's Sukuna too. Cute. These are cookies, man. Absolutely adorable cookies. Of course, they have classics, everything from Haikyuu to Shonen. Yeah, I've been super obsessed with Jujutsu Kaisen and more specifically Kanto Nanami. I'm not sure what to get, but I kind of want to get everything though. Like some of these things, I have no idea what they are. Like, what is colorful stage? But the fact that these characters are, exist just makes me want them too. This is ridiculously adorable too. And still, of course, some old school stuff. What is what? That's Chainsaw Man. Look at it over there. Plushies are too much. Okay, but why are these so perfect? By the way, we know that I have an Ida bag so you can put your pins, but they even have bags where you can put your plushies in, in the front panel. That's adorable. Okay, this is really cool. You can make your own plushie. They sell the felt, the eyes, and then the clothing. Here's the face. 
Oh my god, that is adorable. No, get out of here. They have different kinds of mouths, eyebrows, eyes. Oh my goodness. So you can really make your own character. You can display them, I think. Yeah, that's cute. <laughs> you want that bunny? Yeah, I actually think I want him. Look at that. There's this, he's called Monday Bruce and it's mystery boxes. He's going to work, but not happy about it. <laughs> oh no, there's more of them. What's that one? And then we have, oh no, is he puking? Or yeah, is he that, I think that was photocopy. Oh, photocopy. I think so. Oh no, Monday yeah. first. That's the whole collection, I think. Is the whole collection or just the office? No, I think, check. Oh, yeah, it is, yeah. Huh? So you get a box of six, I guess. So you're sure to get all of them. You feel you feel something about him? He's very relatable. <laughs> very relatable office campus bear. Yeah. Which one are you hoping for? I like the first one. The bus one? Yeah. Yeah, I think the bus one's the best one. Or even the, the one on the bus looking on his phone, number three. Number no, three is I cute too. One has... That's your favorite one? Yeah. Yeah, so grab one and let's see which one you get after. Okay, I'll grab this one. <laughs> okay. So we saw something called Mad Chef. We're like, what does Mad Chef sell? It's a one hand food and drink. Yeah, I think it's a pizza pocket. It's. I don't think it's one handed food though. Definitely, I don't think so. I guess <laughs> everything can be. Next, we made our way to Round One, which is one of the biggest arcade chains in Japan, and they have UFO catchers. But what even is this? Oh my god. <laughs> and yeah, you can find prizes from a lot of different fandoms, including Disney and Pokemon, and a little bit of everything. All right, now we're headed to Book Off. Uh, don't let the name mislead you. They usually have things like collectibles and figurines and books as well, but a lot of figurines and used toys, so it's kind of like a thrift store. Let's go check it out. This is an unhealthy amount of Pikachu. <laughs> Look at this on the Wii U for $5. I mean, I don't know this game, but I would get it just because it's under $3. It's so cheap. Huge collection of pins, if you're into collecting pins. My Hero Academias. There's also walls and walls of plushies, so if you want plushies, you can go through these bins and see what characters you like, which ones you want. So as I'm trying to take this lovely alleyway, a lovely person stood in front of it, looking very cute. <laughs> Look Ooh. at him now. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Where are we standing? Super Potato. Tell us a little bit about Super Potato. So it's a retro game store. Mainly the big one I think is in Akihabara, but there's one in yeah. Ikebukuro also. They have a bunch of games from pretty much all the eras. Old consoles, old games. So yeah. I'm curious to see what they have around here. This one's a really small one though. Yeah. So if you're looking for like something very specific, like um, give us an obscure console, Pat. Uh, uh, 3DO, Panasonic 3DO. Yeah, if you're looking for a 3DO, you may not find it here, but let's Let's Probably see what we find, yeah. The Famicom. Yeah, the Famicom. Famicom. Yeah, let's see what we have. <laughs> you found it? Yeah. <laughs> Panasonic 3DO. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> we even have some retro games playing in the background. It's so chiptune. Oh my goodness, we're blurring this out. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Pat, the Virtual Boy. Can you try it? Um, you should try it. Can you? Is it working? It actually is. No. I can't even reach it because I'm too short. Yeah. <laughs> What's it look like? Tell me. Actually, you know what? It's like just like Hang on. Red. Let's see if we can see. Oh, uh, oh it's It's hard to see. Mm -hmm. By the way, in case you couldn't tell, these aisles are narrow. Like, very narrow. <laughs> you gotta do that face. <laughs> Feels like a video game going through the aisles. Oh my goodness. Okay, but how cute are these little birdies? They're just on here. Do you think they're cute? No. No. <laughs> we have one. And Not recommended. Tell us how you really feel, Pat. Not recommended. <laughs> Not recommended one bit. I think our parrot's pretty cute. No. <laughs> He's loud. Uh -huh. He's messy. Uh huh. It's just no. You sound like you're describing me. It's about the same too. <laughs> All right, so we're walking a little bit, and we see this shop that says Capcom on top. So we're just gonna go ahead and explore and see what it is. You know, I was saying it smells really good and I'm very, you can tell I'm North American because it's actually Burger King. I was like, something smells char yeah, and grilled. Like, uh, right? It smells, it smells really nice. It smells way better than what we have in North America. Turns out it's Burger King. I haven't had Burger King in years because it's really gross lately. Well, at least in the last five years or something. Yeah, a few times we had it, it was a bit, uh underwhelming like you could tell it was just frozen yeah. i mean we know it's frozen it shouldn't taste frozen <laughs> all right pat why are you hiding me <laughs> pat why are you hiding me 
Oh, it's a capsule lab. <gasps> oh, mama. Oh, mama. Look at all that capsule toy. What do we have? Yeah, More capsule toys. Oh, this is UFOs. Okay. More of the same ones that we saw at round one. They're pretty cute. So it looks like there's a Capcom cafe. Pat pointed it out. In the Capcom Plaza. Let's see what the cafe has. Oh, wow. So we have a spy family collab. Let's take a closer look at these foods. We have Anya set. These are really expensive. By the way, any kind of specialty places will be expensive. Like, you can normally get a spaghetti for like $5, but here, $20 about. We have a burger. We have a dessert. What do I have here? We have a pie, lemon tart, chocolate cake. That's basically the entire collab right here if you like Spy Family. Speaking of specialty cafes, look at that. There's a Sanrio cafe. We have roll cakes. Oh my oh. god. <laughs> Get out of here. Look at that. We have the Hello Kitty Sanrio cafe. What do you see, Pat? They have more. Oh my god, they have savory foods. Cute. What's the top one? The top one is a Hello Kitty bun. They have crepes, crepes. Crips, crips, over there. Here we have some kind of artist collab. I love these because these are artist sculpts that they turn into capsule toys. But on the other side, you can also get just tiny versions of food plushies and keychains. Leak for some reason. <laughs> these <laughs> seem like ones I would actually get. And then you have capsule toy of a drink dispenser. They have some pretty cool ones here. And if you're into poo, hey, who am I to judge? <laughs> not me, I'm not judging you. Because you're not judging me. They even have tiny Haribo, Haribo, Haribo keychains. I keep saying Haribo, and y'all keep yelling at me in the comments. Haribo. There you go. This is just way too fun. Like, you can come here and spend hours. Is that mermaid bread? What is that? Different type of breads. It's they a look, bakery stuff. They look really real, though. I know, but it's like exactly like if yeah. you would go to one of the bakeries. Those, they, those yeah, they look really real see. with the yeah. hot dog and the mayo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that looks really good. Yeah, they have yeah five different one of them. That's really cute. Yeah, especially the little bread looks really good. No, awesome. I like the one with the ham and cheese. The ham and cheese. The ham and cheese one is my favorite. Ah, uh, this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the best one. This I like the packaging. Because of the mermaid? No, it's just like the packaging, it really makes it, like it looks exactly like bread that you would That's buy. true. Yeah, it is true. Tiny pizza. Oh my god. I think I need to make change. <sighs> oh no. Yeah, again, more snacks. <gasps> more snacks. I don't know why I like those tiny snacks. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I caved in, made some change. Pat, you're hoping for the bread one? Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna hope for the, the ham and cheese one. Sounds good. Let's try this. Alright. Alright, so we need three coins. That's like three-ish, a little under three bucks in USD. Let's go. Come on. Right, so <laughs> Does it look like? No, no I think it's, it's a, the melon bun. It's the bun. Oh. It's cute. Mm. Can we open it? Yeah. All right, so you can bring it up. <laughs> okay, so here it is. It actually comes with a plate. And you can see the tiny crystals of like sugar on it and the plate. It's cute, not what I would have wanted. Now the question is, do we try again? But let's is wait. Is that what you want? I don't know. Let's keep looking first. Oh my god, stop. Dinosaur fruits. Oh my god. Lizard rings. Oh my goodness. I think I want to get one of these for my brother. They're so ugly. <laughs> <laughs> he loves these things. <laughs> I know. I didn't notice this one, but apparently there's a magic horse collection and they look so derpy. Mm. Almost like a dragon. I like them. Pat pointed these out. You have good eyes for this, Pat. I like the pizza one. And I like this the, one really got messed up. Yeah, the bacon egg one. That one's really cute. Oh, so hard to choose. All right, we're back over here with the ugly, <laughs> the ugly creatures. I think any of them is going to be fine. So let's see. All right. <laughs> let's see what, which one he got. Red one. Red one. Which one? Okay, so we... Oh. Yeah, it is an acrylic keychain. Oh my god, it is so <laughs> ugly. But I think so it said weird. it can move on the inside. Oh yeah, it moves a little bit. That's so weird. I think he's gonna like this. It's pretty weird. I know, it's so weird. <laughs> it's disturbing. <laughs> it is disturbing. 
All right, so we're headed to Sunshine City, which is, <laughs> which is a mall. It's kind of chilly today. It's a little yeah. on the cold side. So we figure we're going to go indoors and just explore the inside. Yeah, it's still super pleasant to walk today. Yeah, though. yeah, yeah. So it's going to be just interesting to look inside and see how places change and maybe find some mystery bags because they've been having mystery bags for the New Year. So we'll see if we can catch some. And also here, that's where you have the Pokemon Center. Oh, yeah, the Pokemon Center. And the biggest gacha place also is here. That's true. That's, there's a lot to do here. You could spend probably a whole day, at least a few days, I think. Yeah, yeah a few days, so. yeah. And if you're into anime, I think they have a One Piece store They also, also. have a Ghibli store. Yeah. And yeah, Bandai, Namco, everything you can think of in terms of what stores they have for geeks. They even have an aquarium. If you ever wanted to check out an aquarium, it's indoor activity kind of place. I absolutely love these fake foods. They display them at a lot of restaurants. And yes, these are fake, but it will represent basically what you're gonna get when you order it. So I love these, they're so amazing. They're so well done. And then I picked myself up a sweater cause it's just absolutely adorable. And we did a couple of little bit of shopping here and there. All right, so we're walking around and look what we found, a Minecraft pop-up store. I know Kitty Editor is gonna love this. Kitty Editor, let's, let's take a quick tour. This actually looks pretty classy. And once we got inside the Minecraft store, it was full of furniture and small decorations, keychains. If you're a fan of Minecraft, you're definitely going to find something that you're going to love. Yes, even stationary. And I have to say, some of the things were childish and other them, I feel like I could have used it in my own house for decoration. And of course, it's not Japan until you stop for food. Mind you though, we did stop for um, <laughs> Chinese food because Pat loves Mapo tofu and they make it really good here. So let's see what the Pat's food looks like. Pat, that looks very sizzly. Mm -hmm. Why just you, you wanted to do that non smiley face, huh? I saw that. <laughs> That's his persona. Look at it sizzling mm -hmm. though. Same side dishes. It smells really good though. Yeah. You excited? Mm -hmm. All right. And this concludes the first vlog for our Japan trip. Stay tuned for part two and part three, where we're going to actually be exploring video games and other things around Japan. I'll see you in the next video.